Greetings, dear brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord and Savior Yeshua HaMashiach. To Him and Him alone be all the praise, honor, and glory. Today is the 19th day of the ninth month of the year 2016, and the Lord has given me quite a few words about His imminent return, as well as instructions for His bride, for us. So I am here to share that, and let's begin with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we come this day in your presence, in the name above every single name of our King Yeshua HaMashiach. And I pray that, I pray, Father, that as I am about to convey your message to your appointed people, please enlighten all our hearts and minds through your Holy Spirit. And please be my strength when I am weak. I pray for each and every viewer that may the Lord guide you through his Holy Spirit and help you to receive this message from our coming King, Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in whose name we do pray. Amen. Right, so dear brothers and sisters, the words which I got from the Lord are up on the screen. I mean, there are two of them actually. I couldn't accommodate in one page. So... The first sheet, as you see on the screen, the first word I... God was on 28th day of the 8th month of year 2016 and I heard, heard the Lord say, My son, I am coming. The hour of my coming is very near. Tell my bride to repent. And I tried to highlight the portion where Jesus is telling in his word what we should do. This is the time of my coming. Then on 29th day of the 8th month I heard, this year only 2016 I heard the Lord say my son this is the time of my coming be ready then very next day again on the 30th day of the eighth month 2016 the Lord said my son I am coming be ready this is the time of my coming there is no more time and there are a few more words let me just take it up real quick I hope that's visible And then again, the very next day I heard on the 31st day of the 8th month, the Lord said, My coming is extremely near. Then on the second day of the ninth month, I heard the Lord say, My son, the time of my coming is now. Be ye ready. And on the fourth day of the ninth month this year, again 2016, the Lord said, My son, I am coming. Yes, I am coming soon. Keep your eyes on me. Time is at hand. So dear brothers and sisters, so the highlighted part is what basically the Lord is telling us to do. What the Lord wants us to do. So I believe we should pay extra attention to that part, to the highlighted part. As that is what he wants us to do. And all over the scriptures we see this pattern, dear brothers and sisters, that God promises us something. And for that promise to be effective, the Lord wants us to do something as well. And for example, let's take the scripture of, if you would please turn to Hebrews chapter, Hebrews chapter 13 verse 5. I mean, and I'm sure most of us are definitely aware of this verse. It says, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. Because God has said, never I will leave you, never I will forsake you. We see the pattern here, dear brothers and sisters, that God has a firm promise that never he will leave us, never he will forsake us. But God also asks us to play our part to receive the fullness of his promise, which in this verse is, which is to keep our lives free from the love of money and to be happy with what we have. And we can, we can see these verses, these patterns all over the scriptures. You can go to Second Chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 and you can I, I will let you explore that and you can see the same pattern dear brothers and sisters and in the words which the Lord has given me the all the words which we see we see the same pattern once again God gives us his staggering promise that it is just about time for him to come and get his bride but we are also asked to do something and I believe we need to pay attention to that As a matter of fact, we should pay extra attention to that part. As the Lord is anyways going to keep his promise. Our King Yeshua HaMashiach is about to come. But are we doing our part? And the command which the Lord is giving in the words which I got. 
if we see the highlighted portion there are, it can it boils down to three things which, which he wants us to do he's telling tell my bride to repent be ye ready keep your eyes on me these are the three things we are supposed to do and let's just break it down and see what what the lord wants us so dear brothers and sisters that's our messiah is commanding us he's not suggesting us but rather commanding us he wants all of us to repent romans 3 23 says we all have sinned and we all have fallen short of god's glory and romans 6 23 declares the wages of sin is death but the gift of god is eternal life in christ jesus our coming king your brothers and sisters repentance comes from the greek word called metanoia which means a change of mind repentance doesn't mean asking sorry for your sins and repeating it again and then again asking sorry and the cycle goes on and on and on but rather repentance is clearly a change of mind a transformation of heart the sin which we once loved we should hate it now that's what is repentance let's understand that dear brothers and sisters Dear brothers and sisters, if we have a new relationship with God, great. But we also need to have a new relationship with sin. We need to hate it. But does that mean we will never sin? Of course not. As long as we are in this corrupted body, we will occasionally sin. But the Holy Spirit has given us the power not to practice and dwell in that sin, but rather to hate it. Dear brothers and sisters, actually the Lord yesterday prompted me to put this video out today with an urgency. I don't know who the appointed people are and what is our sovereign God's supreme purpose through this message. But if anybody out there, dear brothers and sisters, need to repent, this is the time. Please do it as there is no more time. The Lord is coming. He will be here anytime. You don't want to fall in the hand of living God. Please don't assume, dear brothers and sisters, that you are all right. And that includes me. I cannot assume that we are all right. We are doing good. We are asking for forgiveness. We need to ensure that. Please do. Let us do as the Holy Spirit to convict us. Please do as the Holy Spirit to convict you of all the sins. And yes, that includes me. L let us all ask the Holy Spirit to convict us of all our sins and be sensitive to the whisper of the Holy Spirit. For the Messiah himself declares in Matthew chapter 7 verses 13 through 14. You could turn with me please if you would like to. For wide is the gate and broad is the road that leads to destruction and many enter through it. But small is the gate and narrow the road that leads to life and only a few find it. Dear brothers and sisters, I urge you all to pause for at least 10 minutes on this verse, if not more, to contemplate on this verse word by word and see the reality of this verse in our lives, in your life. Let's just not make the biggest mistake of our life by assuming that we are in the narrow gate. But please let us ensure that we are in the narrow road, in the narrow path. Please let us be honest to ourselves and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit to ensure we are in the narrow path. The Lord also said in the words he gave me to be ready and keep our eyes on him. How do we do that, dear brothers and sisters? We hear this over and over again, be ye ready. How do we do that? And we all have the answer, dear brothers and sisters. We know it. The Holy Word of God, the scripture has all our answers if we look for it. And how do we look for it? Not through our might or power, through our brains, through our neurons, through our intelligence. No, no, no. But through His Holy Spirit. The Bible says, if we turn to Proverbs 3, chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. Love the Lord with all your heart and never to lean on your own understanding. We should never lean on our own understanding. No, that's a big mistake. Let the Holy Spirit walk through us, not our power or might. Anyways, let's try to evaluate quickly. In short, how are we supposed to be ready? Not according to me or any other fellow human. What we are suggesting, but according to the one and only righteous person, our Messiah. How does he want us to be ready? 
If you would please turn to Luke chapter 12, verses 42 through 48. Let me see if I... So if we... That's the parable actually basically of the wise and faithful servant. And I won't be having the time to discuss those questions here, I guess. Let me see if I can pull that parable up. Let's keep an eye on the questions as we read. I mean, if you can see, sorry, it's the print probably is not very visible. But I will definitely leave a, a leave the, in the description box, I will leave all the questions. So I recommend you all, please, dear brothers and sisters, to take a look at it. And evaluate yourself through these questions. So the parable says, and Lord said, when, who then is that faithful and wise steward? Whom his master will make rule over his household to give them their portion of food in due season. Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly I say to you that he will make him ruler over all that he has. But if that, but if that servant says in his heart, my master is delaying his coming and be, begins to beat and ma beat the male and female, excuse me, male and female servants and to eat and drink and be drunk, the master of that servant will Come on a day when he's not looking for him. And we can go on with that parable. But I encourage you, dear brothers and sisters, to look at it. And we won't have enough time to go through the questions to discuss. But I will definitely leave it in the description box. And I urge you, please, please, please do contemplate on those questions to evaluate yourselves. What distinguishes the faithful and the wise manager? In view of Christ's second coming, what does this parable teach us? about our readiness the questions are all up there over what has God given you personally stewardship what do you think God wants you to do with it be specific the questions are up there dear brothers and sisters we don't have the time unfortunately but I'm sure you will have enough time to evaluate that and we definitely encourage you dear brothers and sisters the Lord is giving all of us all the brothers and sisters on our YouTube, very powerful words and sounding the alarm about his coming, which is any moment now, of course, and none of us know the day or the hour. But what we do know is our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach, is definitely going to keep his promise and rapture his bride at his perfect time. And he wants us to, through our message, through the message which I got, he wants us to repent, he wants us to be ready and keep our eyes on him and ensure that we are in the narrow gate. Please be aware, dear brothers and sisters, that very few will be found in the narrow gate. Are you in the narrow gate? Are you? Please do evaluate yourself using the questions provided in the description box and please do contemplate on them. Now is our salvation nearer than ever. Please let us all work with trembling and fear. Are we in the narrow gate? Are we certain about it? Are you certain about it? Thank you once again, dear brothers and sisters, for viewing us. And we once again do recommend you to take this message to the Lord. And whatever the Lord puts on your heart, please do get back to us. We will appreciate all your inputs, comments, suggestions. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters. And time is at hand. Let's focus on what Jesus wants us to do. We once again... Encourage you, dear brothers and sisters, to please do take a look at the questions which is on screen right this moment and evaluate yourself. There is no more time. Please be the faithful and wise servant. And that includes me, yes. And I hope, dear brothers and sisters, you find this message encouraging and more importantly, this message will help you to get closer to our coming King, Yeshua HaMashiach. We hope that. Let's end with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you once again for giving me this opportunity to be your servant. We pray, Father, that you help each one of us to get ready for our King, Yeshua HaMashiach's imminent return. Father, we hold on to Luke 21, 36 and pray that may we be found worthy of our Messiah. We pray, Father, in the name of our Redeemer, Yeshua, that may you bless all our dear brothers and sisters right this moment viewing this message and enlighten their hearts and minds through your Holy Spirit so that they can discern and hold on to the truth. 
More importantly, Father, help us to grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior. Heavenly Father, may the meditations of our hearts and the words of our mouth be acceptable at your sight at this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all and thank you, dear brothers and sisters.